Hello ladies and gentlemen, and whoa, there's a lot of people here. Welcome to the Netrock server. It's been a while since we've been here. Oh my god, I've been set on fire! <laughs> okay, cool. Well, yeah, it's been a while. Um, and I have been basically building my living place. And we're going to get onto that shortly. But um, first, I have some distressing news. Covening, aka Josh, aka the man who's uh, made my Lost Vikings thumbnails and the channel art and stuff. He was a fantastic builder on the server. Yeah, and now he has decided to leave um, because he has a lot of work commitments and stuff. So he is leaving the server. Hopefully he'll be back, but for now he is leaving. So, we're just going to have a brief moment's silence. That's, that's probably brief enough. Okay, so welcome. And um, due to what I have been up to previously, we are not at my house, we are at Toby's house. And uh, this seems like as good a place as any to... Um, start because this is where I ended up. So as you can see he has a very fantastic sort of mages tower kind of thing here. Coralis brand I believe. And then he's got a bedroom up here and all these all these mountains were natural by the way. I think he might have had to flatten this area out where the home is but all the mountains were natural which is enviable and amazing both in equal measure. So well done to that. Uh, hasn't got a lot going on. He hasn't been around on the server for a while, old Toby. But um, what he has got is looking pretty amazing, and I am a little woo. <laughs> I am a little bit jealous. Uh, we're actually going to sleep. Sorry, Toby. Hope you don't mind. Um, so that I can do the walk back to my house because I cannot remember the way through the Nether, and unfortunately, it's a very long journey because <laughs> at the moment we are at. 500 by 400. My house is at minus 1000 by minus 600. So, which way am I heading? This way. We're going to need to head out this way. Um, whether I can get out easily that way or not remains to be seen. So let's just go out the front door, front door and run around and it will surely be quicker that way. Apologies for my voice uh, if it keeps cracking which I know it does normally, but uh, today it seems to be a lot less compli compliant than usual and it uh, cracks even more than it should do. So apologies for the increased crackitude of my voice. Um, I, I do hope I, I can get it fixed soon, but I uh, wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> so I'm going to have difficulty struggling this mountain, then we're going to get on the journey home. Oh, a desert. This will be interesting. Let's have a little nosy around and see what's happened. I imagine Toby's actually gone and gotten everything from here. Um, all, all the usual stuff. And anyway, all the dungeons and the temples and stuff. Because I know I would if I was near a desert. That's the probably the first thing I would do would be to go and pillage it of all of its usefulness. So. Oh, one of those is going up. That shouldn't be going up. There we are. So we're heading over this way instead. Shouldn't I? Yes, this way. Both of those should be going down into the minuses. So we are heading this way. Wonderful. It's going to be a long old journey. I don't actually know if I've got enough food to last me the whole journey. <laughs> but um, never mind. We'll have to kill some animals on the way or something. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, I shall see you nearer to home. I've just come across this wolf, and ordinarily I wouldn't bother, but I'm going to see if I can tame one. Just because I've got a couple of bones, I thought I may as well go for it. No, never mind. Fair enough, let's carry on. Hmm, huh. that's pretty impressive. I like, I like the size of that. <laughs> that's what she said. No, that's kind of just like a nice little thing. You know, it's not a mountain as such. It's just a 
plains biome. It's quite a quite a good mountain here for plains. Look at that. That's that cabin that we found that one time. I still don't know who that belongs to. <laughs> but it's uh, it does show that we're on the right track home. We're getting getting nearer to home. Come here, pig. God's sake. Why am I using that sword to kill animals anyway? Stone sword, please. Anyway, yes, we are well and truly on the way home now, which is wonderful. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Ooh. I have absolutely no room in my inventory to deal with this. Oh, how sucky. Ah, oh, this is atrocious. I am going to need to do some thinking. I'm going to need to chuck stuff out because I'll forget that this is here. Also, if I take down the coordinates, then there's a chance that someone else might get here and pillage it all before me, which is not what I want. Not what I want at all. How do I even get in here? Can I break in through here? Yes. No, I did hear a zombie. Hey, wait, no, there's torches in here. Someone's been here already. Out. Or have they? Yeah, looks like they have. Oh. <laughs> Nuts. Hard boiled eggs and. Uh, I bet they even took the secret one as well. This redstone, can I take that maybe? What do I what do I need netherrack for? I don't need that. That can sit in there. So I'm gonna grab redstone anyway. <laughs> because I love me a bit of redstone. And there we go. Now where's the rest of it? Was there any more? No, that's for that. And then there's this one here. Where's the wiring for that? Ah, right here. Excellent. Okay. Now let's uh, let's check the other one here. Even though I'm fairly convinced they'll have taken this. <gasps> oh, they didn't. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, what else don't I need? I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Let's grab those. And, oh, ho, ho, I'm going to take these special stone bricks. Because they don't come around all that often. Um, anything else I can get rid of? I could, um, let me chuck you for the repeater. There's a bit of more dust and some dust. And for these pistons, never want to turn up free pistons. Let's get rid of the flint. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. I was thinking about maybe trying to... Oh, an apple. Is there something I can get rid of for an apple? There we go. I was thinking about coming back here to pillage the moss stone. Um, but we, we, can, we can do that another time I suppose where where is this let me jot this down uh, okay so temple is at minus four four one sixty nine minus two five eight okay cool right oh now it's gotten dark let's turn some brightness on boop and then head towards minus a thousand minus six hundred need to work out which way that is. This way. Okay, good. Let's continue. <laughs> oh, what a find. Even though someone has already found it before us. But still, that's amazing. And I don't think it was us. I think if it was us, I'd have taken everything and begun raising it already. Hmm. Never mind. 
Wow. Oh, okay, right, I shall see you back at home. There it is. There's the island. Ha <laughs> ha, we're home! Yes! At last. Just gonna tuck into some blue steak there. Ah, oh, home sweet home. And my god, you guys are gonna love what I've done with the place. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm sure you will. So, there's actually a, probably a few things to show you, actually. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is plant these reeds that we found on the way. Just make sure we get a nice supply of these going. Get out of here, spider. Bane of Arthropods 5 on this thing which is pretty great, but not when you find out that I spent 30 levels to get that. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted at all, but uh, that's what it gave me, look. So, let me, uh, let me take you down to the Tat Cave. I've got a bunch of cows here that I'm working with at the moment, and this is my main base of operations right now. This is where I do my living, <laughs> basically. Whilst I'm uh, whilst I'm working on an actual place to uh, live in, so I'm going to put some of this stuff away before we get going because I've got a bunch of things here that I don't really have a need for. And that can sit in there. That can go there. Brick there. Apples. They can sit there. Got a place for those. Um, wood, you sit in there. Tables and that can go there. Mob drops, that sits in there. And then I have a place for th those as well. Spider eye, I forgot. And put you away the redstone there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fishing rod can sit in there. Pistons can go in there. So can the repeater. Excellent. Okay. So, with all that being done, I have no food. With all that being done, I would like, if I may, to take you on a journey through the house. We are going to uh, go through the uh, actual opening for the house because I plan on covering this up or turning it into a skylight or something. Basically, this is not going to be the main way into the house. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, I can't place reeds to save my life. Okay. I mean, I think that'll probably be a big enough reed farm now, but <laughs> whatever. I can turn brightness off now. So, let me take you to the actual entrance for the house. And then I shall show you. Woo woo woo. I shall show you what I have been up to in the break. Oh look, there's a sheep who wants to come in. So, here we are. Here's the main entrance. Hi there, sheep. And then we come down here. Check it out. It's all nice. We come round here. Look at that. I've got a nice little water feature here. And then this, of course, leads back around to the living area. Pet sheep and pet cow, uh, pig there. Which are going to get put into a farm eventually, but I need to build space for it. Which is what's going on down here. <laughs> Remember the mine shaft that was underneath my house? Welp, here it is. <laughs> it's been completely remodeled. Down here is the storage room, uh, which is where all the storage is going to happen, <laughs> basically. Um, oh, yeah, wait, I've got coal here somewhere as well. What's, what's this? Oh! This is, oh, this is from Nay and Sean. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, that was that was a nice, pleasant surprise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, let's put that there. I've still got flint and steel I should have gotten rid of. But yes, this is all the storage from here. The enchanting table there is only temporary. Oh, that skeleton. Uh, there's still a lot of modelling and stuff to do in here. I still need to work out the ceiling heights and wall shapes and stuff but that's all coming together this is my portal which will lead through to the nether which I will show off to you all in a little while because there is actually something else as you might remember we had a spider spawner 
in this mine shaft. Um, and as you can see, I've gotten rid of it. Go away. The reason being because whilst I was exploring the mine shafts, I found this along with that. In addition to that. <laughs> So that's three spawners, all fairly close to each other. And to make matters even more brilliant, whoa, 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 oh, get up. We can stand here, that one's active, along with those two as well. So I got rid of that first spawner because we can make a spider farm using three spawners, which will be challenging, but I'm looking forward to it. It will be pretty fun and interesting. So that's a project to do and I think the last thing I'm going to show you because I'm running out of time and this episode is getting to its length the last thing I'm going to show you here quickly is the nether and maybe Nay's house actually so if I come through my portal here oh that's the wrong way okay if I come through my portal here and then just hop up here you will see I have this long walkway here and that is because when I made my portal I found out that on the other side of this walkway which goes over a huge lava lake as you can kind of see there on the other side of this is Ney's nether portal and they're literally just a couple of hundred blocks apart which is super duper amazing like really convenient and amazing and of course Ney has a nether fortress right outside her place. That's where her portal is, just up there. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Um, so yeah, that's that, but that's not the cool thing. I mean, that's pretty cool, but it gets one better than that over here at, oh hi, over here at Ney's nether fortress. And I shall now demonstrate to you why. Because just through here, we've already begun working on it, but just through here, we have a blaze spawner right there, and a second one right through here, which means we will be able to make a double blaze farm as well, which is amazing. <laughs> That's super duper cool as well. Ah, oh, we've got a nice world here. This is pretty awesome. And I'll just take you quickly over to Nay's place because we haven't actually seen that uh, on video yet. Ow! So Nay's portal is just up here. And if we dive in... <laughs> we come out at Nay's place, which is... Which is, wows, this is really cool. Um, I might have to come back and do a proper tour of this place after I get back from uni. I think I've got time actually. Let's, let's get it started anyway. So this is the main entrance. Um, I've never seen such a terrible use of redstone in all my life. Why would you do that? You should use it, not abuse it, but whatever. <gasps> Zisto! <laughs> Hello Zisto. Um, She's got a little lava pool there. That's for if Sean misbehaves, I think. I think he gets thrown in there. Um, <laughs> she's got a nice little carrot and tater farm here. I'm going to grab some of these because I'm running out. Thank you. Oh, your carrots are far more fertile than mine. Through here, I believe she said is her mushroom farm, which seems to be growing and doing okay. It's down. Oh, there. This is another way in. Okay, yeah, so that's her mushroom farm just there. This building here, like the nice tree in the middle, by the way, this building here is a rather ingenious kind of sheep farm idea. We have white, brown, pink, all the way up to the top there. Each sheep on their own coloured floor. And I can only imagine how much stress it was to get sheep up, the, up there. <laughs> so well done for that. This down here is her rail, potential rail, or strip mine, either or, might be both, I believe. 
which is all very nice. This is the chicken farm, her chicken farm. Oh, I've got to show you this. She showed me this last night. This is amazing, right? This is the best thing ever, right? If we come up here, she's got her own, like, custom-built village thing. She's built the houses and somehow managed to populate it with these guys, which is absolutely incredible. It's so awesome. <laughs> Look at it all. It's great. Ah, oh, I, I am really envious of it. I think it looks amazing and the fact it's populated as well is super, super cool as well. So big, big props to Nay. Well done there. Even if when I came around last time I did let two of them out by accident. But that got sorted out. Um, I'm going to have to interrupt this tour here. I, I'm going to just chill out here with Zisto because I have to go to uni now, but I will carry on this tour a little bit later on, okay? So I shall see you then. Bye! Hello everyone, we are back. Zisto is still here, which is amazing. It has started raining though, which is a bit of a bum, but never mind. So, I have shown you up there and all of that. We've done the farm here, so let's carry onwards. This, uh, oh, this is Nay's grave. <laughs> uh, evidently she's died a few times. I'm going to do something like that. I feel like I should have a grave as well. Or something like that. Something to signify it. Pumpkin chest and presumably melons as well. I believe this is a Shishwami Exuma Void branded pumpkin and melon farm. It might just be pumpkins actually. Um, all you do is push the button and it harvests all the pumpkins and sends them down this water ready to be collected at the bottom just there. It's a really cool design. Stables for when Nay picks up some horses and a swimming pool as every house needs. I really like the roof actually, the roof is really cool. Then we have the main house there, we'll touch on that later. Oh this is her Battersea Cats and Dogs home. As you can see, she's a bit oversubscribed with dogs. She's got a, she's got a little kitty. But yeah, there's plenty of dogs there as well. So no hit in nay. Here are her melons. Uh, the melon farm. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Then we have the uh, the piggy farm. Oh, oh yeah, of course you're interested. I've got carrots. <laughs> whoops. Oh, to close the close the door. Cows. Of course. And what's going on behind me? Cocoa beans, cacao beans, whichever. A tree farm looking pretty snazzy. Wheat, sugar. And then we're back to the front. And let's just have a quick wander around her house. Oh, cacti. There's some cactus going on there as well. Let's have a look at the house. Oh, look at that. That is her house. Oh, check that out. That is amazing. Although, what is that? That looks impressive. We might have to go and see that. That looks like it could be a ravine or something. So we might have to investigate that. But here is her house. What have we got here? Oh, the to-do list. Spruce up the strip mine. Mushroom farm changes. Finish rail line. Find nether wart. Build XP farm. Make pumpkins higher. You want more? More pumpkins? Jesus. Bet she's getting ready for a prank or something. <laughs> pumpkins everywhere. So here's the downstairs area with things leading off in every direction. Netherrack and dirt. Fortune needed. Ah. <gasps> Someone's been busy. Um, well, I I have fortune. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what you want, so I won't, I won't fiddle. Sorry. <laughs> What's that one? Silk Touch, yes, okay, that's cool. And then let's head upstairs, see what she's got going on up here. Up on the next floor we have the Enchanting Room, which was very generous to me, that gave me a very good sword, better than the one I've got at the moment. And, oh, that anvil's starting to bite the bullet a bit, that's not good. And what's through here? Nothing, this is just a room. Uh, this house, incidentally, I think was all designed by her. Designed and built by her. So, very well done. Very architecturally nice. It looks amazing. Oh, this is the bedroom. 
And this is what I loved the first time I saw it. The way the at signs kind of come off the edge of the signs here. They look a bit like squiggly fancy armrest handles, which is pretty cool. And, oh, the guest room. Hello. I might have to stay here. Actually, no, I'll be alright. And then here's her potion room. And that just about wraps things up. Of course, water hidden in the corners here. Uh, so that she can refill her bottles and stuff. That was actually a very good suggestion there. Um, if only I could remember who suggested it. I'm sure he's an absolutely amazing fellow, though, whoever it was. <laughs> okay, well, that, that concludes the tour of Nay's place. Um, and Nay's and Toby's are the only places I know I know uh, where they are. So, sorry, Beth and Liam. DCO and Martin and everyone else who's on the server, I've kind of lost track, but I, I don't know where you live. So I can I can I come over to you and show show your places off. Um let's try and find that huge thing in the ground. Um I have a feeling it's over this way if my Oh no, actually it'd probably be over there. Yeah, I think it's over there. Can I... Can I make... Oh, I'm not going to be able to make that, am I? Why did I tell her to spider-proof it? That's made things much harder. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, lag! Stupid... Thing. Rawr. Ah. Is there a quick way out the back? No. Nay. Get on it. Build a back door. <laughs> you need a back door, man. Otherwise, people can't get out the back. Can if they do that, but even still. You need a back door, man. <laughs> I think it was over in a foresty bit. Yeah, oh, well, if we can't find it, then never mind. There's some interesting lava going on there. But is there any sign or indication of that huge kind of what looked like a ravine? with water in it? I don't know. Probably around in here somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'll be back. No, couldn't find it. Which probably means I wasn't looking hard enough. But, um, I did find a little friend while I was walking around. <laughs> That's what you get for following me. Don't like being followed. Okay, well, let's head off home then. Let's return back to the Tap Cave. That's that's the provision. That's the provisional name. If anyone has a different name for it, then by all means suggest it. Tap Cave is just uh, what what I'm rolling with at the moment because that one was already suggested. So should we keep it keep it as the Tap Cave? Answers on a postcard or in the comments section, whichever whichever is easiest for you to fill out. Um, okay, I will see you back home. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, leave me alone, don't see me. You, on the other hand, are probably going to make things difficult for me. Oh my god, there's a archer skeleton. Oh, man. At least the wither was clever enough and just plopped off the edge. But now I need to get home safely without being shot off of here by a skeleton or otherwise. Whew. Let's return home. And um, also, actually, you'll probably see it as we approach, but there is also a nether fortress on my side of the lava lake here. You can see it spawning in now. Uh, I haven't done any exploration of that as yet, but it will be interesting to have a look around. There's a blaze there and a couple of wither skeletons somewhere. Well, that might have been a Zisto, but um, it will be good to have a little look around. It doesn't actually look that big, but that's not so much of an issue because I think Ney has the spawner, it has the uh, fortress everyone wants with its double spawners, so <laughs> everyone will be going over there, I'm sure. Once the farm is installed, which I think is a job for me and Toby to work out. Oh well, here we are. Home sweet home. Ah, 
I love it. I do quite like this cave. It's looking pretty nice. Um, anyway, yes, I am going to call this video closed for today. I would like to thank you very much for watching this video and if you have enjoyed it then please feel free to leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help out the channel and I am very appreciative for your support. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.